Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, and as you can tell by the title, we have the PTR9CT out today. Uh, if you want to know the specs on this thing, make sure you go watch my video where I unbox it, told you all the specs about it, and while we're just now getting the video out, is because I had to wait for my 20 round mags, because y'all already know what it comes with, and it's not YouTube compliant, so I had to wait for these mags to come, although those stock mags look way better in this than the 20 rounds. We just gonna make it do all right so this is what we looking like this is the ptr mp5 clone uh 9ct chambered in nine millimeter with my 20 round mag and we are about to take our first shot so i did put my hollison aims on here i used to have this on one of my rifles but i felt like it looked good on here and it also has that big window that i like so here we go, taking our first shot with the PTR 9CT. God, it hurt. It's off a safety. Here we go. Alright, so there's one failure to eject. And as you do know, or may you may not know, uh, the manual said to allow, I think it was two to three hundred round for break-in period. So, there's another one. Actually, there's two of them. All right, so put it on safe. Get those out. Let's go with these last, I think, four. These are metal mags. They're a little bit hard to put in simply because you have to slap them. All right. Uh, I don't think I don't think the PTR uh, has a last round bolt hold open, so it didn't lock back that time. I don't think it does. I think that's what I read in the manual. All right. So that was twenty rounds. Here's another twenty. <laughs> that was good. That ran great. Like, you can run this thing so fast without any movement. Like, I, my dot stayed on. It's 9 millimeter. I am running 124 grain in this. So, this is good. All right, let's load up and let's shoot some more. All right, y'all, so we're loaded back up, and I have 20 more rounds here, and I'm going to shoot some steel. Oh, I almost put that in backwards. I'm about to shoot some steel, and here goes 20 more rounds. I'm at about uh, 12 yards, so here we go. All right, failure to eject. Another failure. And that was it. All right, so breaking it in, um, it's expected to have some of these failures and things like that. That's why you read your manual to find out what's going on. Um, you have to play around with your ammo to see like what you need to do. And so the issue that I'm seeing a lot here today is just that um, casing failing to eject from the um from the boat area so let's keep shooting let's get some more rounds through it um i only did bring let's see i think i only brought 124 grain out here so i think i do want to play around with grain ammo um and just put rounds through it it's shooting great 
like I don't know if y'all can tell on the recoil or how fast I'm shooting this thing but that just goes to show you like the recoil is nothing when it comes to PCC caliber carbine or pistol caliber carbine with a nine millimeter round um, it's just it's actually a pleasure to shoot if we can just get through the hiccups and the failures to eject the jams the malfunctions then this will be great so I'm gonna give it that I'm gonna give it its rounds that it's needed we're just gonna keep shooting y'all all right I've got 20 more rounds let's make it do what it do And it's almost like it'd be trying to cycle two rounds at the same time. Now that's weird. Very weird. <laughs> that one's literally like stuck in like the charging handle part. Yeah. Ringing still out here. We can ring it a little bit better if the casing would eject properly. All right, so that's about 80-ish um, rounds. Probably a little less than that with the malfunctions. But look, I be picking my ammo up and I put it right back in and I shoot it so we can get those rounds through. Um, but I don't know that I that I brought 200 rounds out here. So we might have to do half of it today. And then uh, I go up to the spot and get some more ammo. But I'm going to run what I got today and we're going to get through this and we're just going to keep running it, y'all. Let's do it. Oh, I thought we was going to get through that one without it, an issue. We almost did. But are y'all seeing how fast this thing runs? Man. I must be too fast for this thing. Like the way these uh, casings be getting stuck in here, it's kind of weird. Like how do you find yourself in that predicament to get stuck like that? So weird. And by the way, this is oiled up very good. Look. Look how it wants to get stuck in there. I don't even know if y'all can see it. I might be wasting time showing y'all, but just like two at a time are wanting to be in there. And that's not how it works, guys. Hey, but we gonna fight through it. And we gonna keep shooting. Let me pick up my ammo that did not chamber and let's shoot it. Luckily, like everything falls right here in front of me so that I'm able to pick it all back up and keep shooting. Woo. Look at that. So the casing drops and the ammo that was trying to, to cycle drops. Casing and ammo, two at the same time. Two. 
two rounds, and we're going to shoot them. Ugh, my hands are like very dirty. Let's see if we can get these two on a quick double tap without an issue. Yes, sir. All right. I think I got a few more rounds left. So despite the hiccups that I'm having today, I came out here expecting, you know, a breaking period. But I'm very, very um, pleased with how this thing shoots. When I shot it at the range, trying it out before I bought it, I enjoyed how that shot. And so I already have kind of an idea of how I wanted mine to shoot. But I also, because I read the manual, which that's what I'm gonna start doing from now on, is reading the manual. Cause you get your hopes up about a gun because you watch it and you review it. But then when you get it yourself and you own it, you may not get that same experience. And so I think a lot of times we kind of write firearms off because we don't read the manual where it says, oh, it needs a break-in period or it needs this ammo or whatever it may be, or the case may be for that particular firearm. Yours may come back and be the lemon. If it is the lemon, you know, without all the stuff that the manual says it needs, then yeah, write it off. Like, you know, if it, a gun's supposed to run straight out the box. But if they tell you, hey, run about two or 300 rounds through that thing before you start to see it perform, you know, perfect. So that's what I'm doing, not writing it off. Um, I'm just running ammo through it. Now, once I get to about five, 600, 700 rounds and this thing ain't running like that, I'm writing it off. Cause at the end of the day, I had to spend my money on this and it's gotta work, all right? So I think I got like, Probably a little less than 20 rounds in here left. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna slow it down and see what happens on these last 20 rounds. Slow it down and see if we can get the rest of these out without an issue. Y'all see where those casings, there's one. I'm gonna try to take a picture of this and put it on the screen so y'all can see what be happening during my shooting experience with this PTR. I'm gonna try to take a picture. All right, so that was about probably around 100 rounds put through here. So my manual and the manufacturer tells me I need to put anywhere between 100 to 200 more rounds through this for us to start seeing no malfunctions, breaking period is clear, and we should be good to go. So I think on my next trip out, I'm gonna put some more rounds through this and we're gonna make sure we're all set and good to go. If we're not, then we'll handle that when we, when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But all in all, y'all, it's a good shoot. Put the magazine back in so y'all can see it. This is the PTR 9CT. Um, other than the break in period, if you know of anything that I should do differently um, to eliminate these malfunctions or help getting the break in period sped up, y'all let me know. Is it ammo? Uh, obviously, it's oiled already, so I think that part is taken care of. Um, I don't necessarily think it will be the mags. Um, these came straight from PTR. These are their 20 round mags. So I don't think it will be the mags per se. Um, but y'all let me know. If you got one, let me know if you had the same experience out of the box with yours. And if not, 
then um, just let me know what you've done to make it shoot without any malfunctions. But until next time, guys, stay armed, stay safe, and stay vigilant. Peace.